Welcome to Toronto. Great to have you here. Thanks. Congratulations on this. I thought you did a, a wonderful job on, in this movie. And, you know, I'm, I'm watching it and I'm thinking, what did he have to do to make himself feel so alienated? It had to, it had to have been a little bit of a challenge when you come from a place where you're so alienated and then you've got to integrate into society. How did you kind of prepare for something like that? Um, well, it's, it's not very easy because you don't have any kind of references to someone kind of being born on Mars or someone coming to our planet for the first time. Um, and what that meant is that I had a lot of kind of creative freedom to just like try different things and experiment and Peter, the director, was totally on board with that and really wanted me to just kind of uh, go wild with it, uh, in, in his words. And um, yeah, that's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it must have been a lot of fun. But I was thinking, I'm watching it and I go, one of my absolute favorite films, entire universe, is being there with the great Peter Sellers. And funny enough, his name was Chauncey Gardner. Chauncey Gardner, you yeah. play Gardner. Did, did you even watch that film? It was one of our, I mean, it's why he's called Gardner, actually. And it was, yeah, it was one of the few films I've watched kind of preparing for this role. And that is the only film I can think of which really kind of captures the essence of this character. Um, and they both have this kind of, as you said, like alienation to everything around them. Yeah. Um, how, you know, what was your initial reaction when you were given this script and you read it? Um, I read it a long time ago. I was, I was 13, actually, when I read the script. Same week that I read the script for Ender's Game. Wow. And that was a while ago. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been kind of there for a while. Um, kind of, it's gone through different names. My character's gotten older. Uh, a lot, quite a fair bit has changed. Yeah. Um, but it's always had this kind of, this, this heart, which I thought was really special about it, in that it's a science fiction film. But at the core of it, what really drives the story is these characters and the relationships between these characters. Yeah, oh, that's for sure. And you have a wonderful relationship with Britt Robertson in this film. Um, and, and I wanted to know what, it, you know, you make a film with a co-star, whether it's a guy or a girl, doesn't matter. There has to be chemistry, especially because you spend so much time together in this movie. It's the core of the film. What was it like, you know, getting to know her and developing your relationship with her? Um, well, we didn't have very long, we didn't have any time, in fact, before we started shooting together to kind of, figure out what we wanted to do. So it was a kind of, it was just like, a, not winging it, but, but just sort of like ma winging, ma it. <laughs> winging it, making it up as we go and um, kind of on the fly, yeah. which uh, which is a very different way of working. We didn't have long to shoot this movie, so we just had to come very prepared. And, um, and I think that really bonds people when you have that mutual kind of energy and, and passion for a project. For a project. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Absolutely. And then, you know, like you say, like, it's, there's some great people in this film, but uh, Gary Oldman, um, he, he continues to shock me with everything he does. He's such a great actor, and I love when he chooses roles, and especially something like this is something a little different for him. What do you, when you get on a set with a veteran like that, and, and you're still learning, and you're still, you know, as an actor, you're growing, how much time did you spend with him just to even just kind of on the sideline and talk to a guy like that? Um... Not that much, because as I said before, we were so busy. Yeah. Honestly, we didn't. We had very little time to kind of just chit chat <laughs> because we were on, constantly moving on to the next thing or yeah. the next scene. Um, but what I what I did notice about Gary is that he comes. He's such a kind of. I mean, he's a passionate actor, as you expect. You have to be to be that good. But he really kind of brings. Um, He's just there to make this project the best it can be. He doesn't bring any ego mm -hmm. or kind of... He's, he's just there to play and be creative and, and is totally on board with trying new things. And, uh, and he's just a really easy guy to get on with. Yeah. He's relaxed and you need that kind of anchor on a film. Yeah, oh, absolutely, for sure. So, you know, if you were uh, given the opportunity to go to Mars, and uh, who would you take with you? What would you eat up there? What would you listen to up there? Um, <laughs> God, who would I take with me? Um, I'll take my brother up with me yeah. because he's, uh, yeah, he just, I just wanted to be stuck with me on <laughs> Mars. Um, what would I eat? I don't know. Do you have a favorite meal that you like, could not live without and you did, would get sick of? <laughs> um, maybe 
beans on toast. Okay. It's like super British. Super British. Like lunchtime Absolutely. meal. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and favorite music? Favorite music? Um, that's a tough one. Mm. It depends on my mood. Yeah. Generally kind of like reggae, uh, sort of soul. Yeah. I, w I would see you bringing some video games up there too. Oh yeah, that goes without saying. Yeah, oh, for sure. What are we going to see next from you? I know you got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, well, before well, last year, before Christmas, I filmed a couple of movies, uh, Journey's End, yeah. um, which is a World War One film, a British independent movie, and then an American indie film called The House of Tomorrow, which I shot last summer. Good stuff. Well, I know we're going to see lots more of you, but I have to say, you just did such an extraordinary job in this. You were really, really wonderful. My heart so went out to you, and being, you know, your mom, because I've known you for so long, that... <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't stop crying. You well, must have been very emotional. Was it emotional making a film like this? Um, yeah, it is. There are definitely moments where it, it, it tugs on your heartstrings. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, good stuff. Good to see you. Have a nice time in Toronto today. I know you're a busy guy, but uh, lovely to talk to you about this movie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.